Hello and welcome to another Mill City Roasters educational short. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit more in depth about charge temp and how to choose your charge temp based on the density of your coffee. To illustrate this point, I've got a couple of balloons here. One I have filled with water. It's very dense. The other one I have filled with air. It's not dense at all. When we take a coffee and we put it into a hot drum, the first thing that happens is the coffee begins to absorb energy from that hot drum. Kind of like if I take this balloon that is full of air and I go to light this balloon with the light. Uh, hey Joe, um, I'm thinking Derek, maybe what's going on? you're going to use flame. We should yeah. probably think about some safety. Safety first. Safety I like first. It. I you know like what I mean? It. We're in a roastery. Let's just, let's, yeah, I'll, I can take that from you. Okay. Uh, you let's... shouldn't be holding it without the proper tire, anyways. Thank you so much yeah, for this. I, yeah, I just happen to be in the neighborhood with uh, welding gear, so it's not a big deal. Okay, well, I guess, Derek, do you mind helping me out here yeah, a little bit? I'll, yeah, I, I can do the flame. I have All right. technical skills. You want flame? I want flame. Okay, here we go. Flame. All right, so we take the heat and we add it to the coffee and all of a sudden, the exterior of the coffee absorbs all of the heat and it's not able to move through the bean consistently. Well it's, now- It's kind of scary too. Let's see what happens whenever we get right a there. coffee that is very dense. All right, now I now have the heat. Yep, I'm applying heat, dense coffee. Weird. What is happening? Nothing. Ooh, we got a little squirt. <laughs> just a little, little squirt, a little baby hole. But basically that was like nothing happened there. That was so wild. It didn't smell weird either. So what is occurring is the water in the coffee is able to pull the heat from the exterior of the seed into the interior of the seed. It basically defers all of the energy into the seed. And so you have a lot more even heating. It's wild. It's crazy. Now, clearly, you can still scorch yeah, the coffee. Totally. You still can. If yep. you have too much heat. Yep, 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 yep. So that might be like a little bit of tipping, maybe, or facing? Tipping. Definitely. Tipping. This tipping. is definitely tipped. Yeah, yeah, we tipped it a touch. But we can, we can work through it. We'll, we'll take it dark, and we won't cover up the tipping. But we'll make it so it's not as present. OK, sounds good to cool. me. Next time, we'll fix it, though, right? That's right. We learned. So if you have a really dense, high moisture coffee, you can use a higher charge temp in order to allow that initial energy to move into the seed more quickly. If you have a lower density seed, you may want to have a lower charge temp for that coffee right. so that you don't scorch the coffee. Excellent. This has been another cool. Mill City Roasters educational short. Nice. Brought Apply to you by that. Joe and Derek here at Mill City Roasters. Yep, better roasting. Bye. <laughs>